well, well. Look what we have here. My, you're quite the pretty thing, aren't you? Who I am is... I am no one of importance. Just a traveler. Like yourself. But... What's gotten you so frightened, dearie? Well, I can't blame you there. A young, beautiful woman. Alone in the forest. With a strange man? Ah. Anything could happen. <laughs> but let's not worry about that just yet. I'm very curious as to what brought you to this part of the woods. Just traveling, you say. But to where, exactly? There aren't exactly any hospitable areas nearby, and the nearest town is more than a week's journey away. And forgive me, but you don't look well equipped for a two weeks journey. Because you have little food and water, no money, and no extra clothes. Not to mention no weapons, or any way to defend yourself. Something tells me you're in this forest for a different reason. Running from someone. Ooh, now we're getting somewhere. But who would you possibly be running from? Not that I can really blame anyone for wanting to chase someone as beautiful as yourself. Mm, very well. Maybe it's not important for me to know who you're running from, but not answering my questions makes me even more suspicious of you. Perhaps I should force the truth out of you. How exactly would I do that? A fantastic question. Ah, I do seem to remember not properly introducing myself. I am the Archmage Elian Ondestin of the Kingdom of Kurzintha. And, as it would happen, I have recently been looking for a princess who fled her kingdom not too long ago. You wouldn't happen to know anything about her, would you? And don't try lying to me. I have ways of getting the truth out of you. Now, now, what did I just say about lying to me? It looks like I'll have to teach you a lesson. Ah! Not so fast, princess. A simple enchantment, vine whip, or as I call it, bind whip. You can struggle, princess, but it's almost adorable watching you writhe in all those vines binding you together. But struggling, as precious as it is, is only going to tire you out. Why am I doing this? What do I want with you? <laughs> Oh, that's quite simple, my dear. I want you. <sighs> Does a man as powerful as myself really need a reason for anything I do? Oh, those cheeks feel so sweet. Don't mind me, just a light squeeze on that sweet face. I just want to look at you. There. See? Oh, I just love the feel of this delicate face. Think I'll just leave my hand there, cupping your chin. <laughs> mm. Surely there's a reason? Oh, you're right, surely there is a reason indeed. Oh, so soft. So sweet. Uh, uh, uh. 
careful, princess. If I wish to stroke that sweet face of yours, then you dare not move your face. And careful not to struggle, my dear. These bindings will only tighten more if you struggle, and we wouldn't want you getting hurt now, would we? Now for a reply. I do, in fact, have a reason for putting you through all of this. I've heard that you have received the divine blessing of the Moon Goddess. Is that true? And don't lie to me this time, or I will be more rough with you. There. Was that so hard? What you may not know is that receiving this blessing allows you to pass through cursed lands, touch cursed things, as well as break people's curses. I had wanted to receive this blessing myself so that I could pass through the cursed valley of Yanenor. There's some very powerful and important artifacts, as well as some important people that you can't get close to without the goddess's blessing. When I heard that you had received it instead of me, I was furious and had planned to kill you. However, upon further research, I discovered that the goddess's power can extend to one and only one person under the right circumstances. <laughs> oh, what circumstances indeed. If the person who has the blessing gets married, their spouse will also have the powers of the goddess. You're exactly right, my dear. I plan to make you my bride. My dear princess, I believe I made it abundantly clear that I can do whatever I please. And this is no different. You will become my bride, willing or not. Though, willingness on your part will make things more pleasurable for both of us. Don't cry, don't cry, my dear. It won't make a difference either way. Being my wife won't be so bad. I'm an excellent lover. Besides, if you don't cooperate, I could always kill your dear father, who was foolish enough to even think he could send you away before I could claim you. You know I can and will make good on my claims, princess. Do as I say, and I'll make this a wonderful and peaceful life for you. Struggle as you keep struggling against those bonds, and you'll only be bringing yourself pain. Come now, my dear. No more tears, see? Let's wipe that off. And the other side. Look at me. Look at me. If you are obedient, you have nothing to fear. I will make sure that you are comfortable and happy. Hmm. Sweetest lips, my dear. 
In some ways, I'm glad that goddess chose you, because now I can have you all to myself. Uh, up you go. Come on, my dear. Let's return you to my castle and complete this wedding ceremony. And if you're gone.